morning. It's Tuesday, the day before the competition, and it is half nine in the morning. I've been up since five, speaking to multiple people back home or in Heathrow, trying to get a connection to figure out what's happening. Um, I think that's all I've spoken about the last two videos for the bag situation, but in actuality, that's all that's been on my mind. So haven't really been with it at all. My head's just been on my phone the last like two days. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, it's such a beautiful area and there's so many nice things to do and I'm just not mentally like there. Um, a bit frustrating. Luke's, um, as you can imagine, quite frustrated. So this morning was quite tense actually. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's kind of hard because you kind of make defeat by not getting this luggage here, but that's all that my mind's on just now. But I'm trying to find it hard to switch off that it's not happening. Um, so that's where I'm at. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, the day before the competition, the boys don't have much on. I think it's just a couple of interviews for, like, TV and research and stuff. Um, I said today I'm going to be more positive than I am, so I'm going to go out to the shops and start getting, like, things that I would normally get and trying to uh, replicate what I'd normally do. But it's quite difficult just now, not going to lie. But, yeah, that's the update. I will try and take you guys along with me. And uh, my phone's going crazy and I just can't hold to look at it. Oh, cheers. I... Yeah, I will update you guys later on. Um, something... Sorry, I'll update you when it's not about Luke's luggage <laughs> because that's all I've been talking about. So yeah, day before World Strongest Man. Woohoo! Hi YouTube, welcome back. I say welcome back, I don't know if this is going to be the intro or I'm actually going to put the other bits in because this morning I was stressed. I haven't been sleeping much and um, yeah, not been ideal as I've probably said in the last like million videos and stuff, but I am finally feeling a lot better because I think I've managed to get Luke's suitcase here. It's not 100% touch wood, um, but I do have an air tag in the case and I'm tracking it and it is currently somewhere in near New York. So um, fingers crossed it's going to be delivered to a local airport here tonight and I can go get it like, I think it's like 11, 12 o'clock maybe, I can go pick it up. So that made me feel a lot more at ease because I actually see it where it's going on, along on its journey. Um, so that's a positive, that's a plus. That made Luke feel a lot better. Still a bit more, still, I don't know what the word is that I'm trying to use. Still a bit deflated. That's a good word to use to describe how it's been. Uh, my mind's literally just been on my phone the last 24 hours. I couldn't tell you anything about what I've seen in South Carolina over the last two days, three days. I've literally just been stuck on my phone trying to ring British Airways or United Airlines or American Airlines. I love America, but I absolutely hate the airlines. It is just, yeah, not the best. But anyway, so that's a plus, that's good news. And then the other thing that was really on my mind was the groups, the groups have now been announced, which is good. You could like process that. It's not so much of a shock anymore. So there's not, not gonna be any like new surprises that's gonna come. So the luggage is on its way, which is good. The groups have been announced and that's good and um, I finally ended up going to the shop so I know I haven't vlogged much today but I will show you the things that I got Luke so you can see what he has the night before a competition according to Nathan. Nathan is Luke's nutritionist and he is so precise on anything. He come and took his bloods this morning to see how his, I don't know what he did, like blood pressure or yeah he's just like an absolute wizard so um, he gave me a list of things to buy for Luke um, as you know, we're in like a really nice apartment type hotel thing. Um, I did make another video, but I've been 
really stressed out so um, I haven't actually had the mental strength to edit and put it up um, but I will show you what I got from the shop so um, this is literally just our kitchen um, it was quite empty before but now I've stopped up the things tonight Luke has to have um, pasta so I've got here so still unpacking just normal organic pasta and then meatballs and then just like a basic tomato and basil and a receipt, basil sauce. Okay. I'll just hold it actually, I feel weird. So <clears throat> yeah, just pasta tonight and then 45 minutes after, it is so precise, he, sorry confused, 45 minutes after he has his meatball pasta, he has a fresh strawberry cheesecake. He is not allowed to have the strawberry cheesecake straight after because um, he has to let his pasta digest. Honestly, wizardry. So what I've got is water. Oh, just stack up stuff on water. I've got these little, these are for me actually, these little immunity shots. Um, this water is really good. Um, I always buy this one from America when we're here for Luke. <clears throat> Pedalite for tomorrow, for his competition, obviously Gatorade. They will have um, rain, I'm assuming, there as well. <coughs> and then that's just little bits and bobs to take to the competition. And then tomorrow he has to have some pancakes, so just got some pancake mix. And then honey, organic honey, and then we've got cream, squirt cream, wherever that is. I haven't really unpacked properly, but yeah. Got squirt cream, strawberries, and bananas. So Luke will have a really high sugar breakfast tomorrow morning before the competition starts, and I have to let that digest. It was a really, really long day tomorrow. Um, I think it's loading, deadlift, and the log. Um, so yeah, it should be good. I feel a lot more... I feel like I'm not ready to mentally prepare myself that tomorrow's actually come so quick. Like the competition's actually tomorrow. Normally I'd be a lot more like, oh, it's tomorrow. But because I've been so occupied with getting his luggage here, that's what's been taking up most of my mental energy. Anyway, it doesn't really make much sense. But um, I'm just gonna cook Luke's dinner now. Oh, for um, any TikTok people out there, I did jump on the trend and I'm a bit of an idiot and I shouldn't jump on TikTok trends, but look what I got. Look how cute it is. It's so pink and swirly. Don't judge me. Don't hate me. Um, yeah, feel so much better today. I'm sure you can probably see that in my face. Um, and I'm just excited for tomorrow to start, but I'm still a bit anxious or nervous or I don't know whatever you want to call it for Luke's luggage to get a connecting flight from New York to here if it was coming here direct then I wouldn't be worried but that's still in the back of my mind um <coughs> so I'm still just waiting for an update but um yeah it's it's working out now but it was a very 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 horrible 72 hours I'm not gonna lie I've been in tears <laughs> I think uh, there's a lot of tension everywhere. Luke hasn't really been that pleasant to be around. I haven't been that pleasant to be around. And it's just been a horrible time, which now I'm hoping by 12 o'clock tonight, it will just be all over and yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't really vlog much today. I did promise like daily updates, but I didn't expect it to be as, um, crazy as this um so yeah i do apologize but all is good hopefully all is well in the world and i'm just about to start cooking dinner because luke's just getting a physio and when he comes off he's going to be hungry so i gotta go just finished making dinner for tonight it feels well weird cooking in america cooked luke his spaghetti bolognese with some cheese and Tomato and basil sauce, how's it tasting? It was really nice, yeah. Just um, what Nathan ordered, so it's tasty. Really good. So, saves, saves going out for food. 
So he has to have his spaghetti bolognese and then he has to let that digest for 45 minutes and then he has a strawberry cheesecake, so that'd be nice. So this is your last meal before the competition. Well, it's the last meal today before the competition tomorrow. And then tomorrow he has pancakes and syrup and banana, strawberries and all that kind of stuff. We have a half six tomorrow bus leaving from the lobby. It takes 40 minutes to get to the competition site. Keep getting my words mixed up, sorry. It takes 40 minutes to get to the competition site and um, yeah, we have a 6.30 start. So I doubt I'll be filming much in the morning, but I will try. Um, also, Luke's luggage is due to arrive at 11 o'clock tonight at the airport, which is good. So I'm gonna go out and get that. Fingers crossed it actually makes it on the flight. Um, feeling really positive, so yeah. Got a nice feeling about it, so I'm sure it will happen. And uh, yeah, Luke will try and get an early night. So um, yeah, I'll run out and get the bags and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Oh, I made myself some pasta, but um, just haven't had it yet. Anything you wanna say? Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the niceness. Really excited for the groups tomorrow. Should be fun. Feeling <laughs> strong. It is half nine. Luke is in bed. We have a half six. We have to be downstairs by half six to get the shuttle bus to go to the, I keep saying arena as if it's a chance live competition, to go to the site. I'm literally just waiting up to, I don't know if you can see, I'm just trying to watch where Luke's air tag is. It is in Newark, which is good. Um, and it should be on its way to Metal Beach, which is even better. Um, so waiting up for that to come. Um, luckily, Luke's arranged for, um, oh. <gasps> okay, sorry about that. So I've just um, seen that Luke's bags have now taken off to from Newark to Metal Beach, which is Brilliant, that's exactly what we want to hear. Uh, Luke's quite buzzing as well. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to text like all the family and stuff and texting Tom. Um, he's been really worried about it, which is a shame. Um, he just wants Luke to be okay, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, buzzing. Had a really good feeling about this one this time. I don't know why. Yeah, so that's a big weight off our shoulders. It would have been nice if it come with us like originally, but um, a few hours before the competition starts is still good. Still will take that. So yeah, one of the members from uh, World's Strongest Man is going to go pick it up. I was going to get it later, but it saves me a trip, I guess. And yeah, now I can go to bed. Now I can relax a little bit or remind myself that as well as strongest man tomorrow so start getting in the zone for that um i just need to get a couple of bits together like charge different things like luke's ryobi fan um pack certain things like um stuff from the fridge which i'll i'll try and show you in the morning but um yeah i'm gonna go get all that prepped and then i'm gonna go to bed let's go say good night to luke <laughs> Finally on their way. Oh, that's nice actually. Yeah, it's really good. Long time coming. <laughs> but now it's chill time for Worlds tomorrow. Mm. So it's a different type of stress now. I'm going to switch off our phones. I'm going to switch off my phone soon. And get some sleep. Mm -hmm. And we wake up tomorrow and get it done. Smash it. <laughs> Say goodnight YouTube. Good night, YouTube. We'll see you on day one of the competition. Bye. Night.